Hi, everyone. This is Vicki Atkins. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading a message entitled Mercy. It was originally released on January 19th, 2024. The transcript is also available. Again, the title of the message is Mercy. It is a message from Lord and King, Savior, Redeemer, the Lord God Almighty, the Mercy Seat starts with scripture Matthew seven twelve. so whatever you wish that others would do to you do also to them for this is the law and the prophets Exodus 25 17 you shall make a mercy seat of pure gold Exodus 25 20 the cherubim shall spread out their wings above overshadowing the mercy seat with their wings their faces one to another toward the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubim be Exodus 25, 22. There I will meet with you, and from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim that are on the ark of the testimony, I will speak with you about all that I will give you and the commandments for the people of Israel. Then in Jeremiah 31, 20. Is Ephraim my dear son? For as often as I speak against him, I do remember him still. Therefore my heart yearns for him. I will surely have mercy on him, declares the Lord. And Romans 9, 15, for he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. And here is the message. I will look, but will I find? I will listen, but will I hear? My people, how rich in tender love is your father and king. I have loved you with an everlasting love. It will not fade or grow dim. It will not decay or become tepid. It will be a strong, gentle, tender, patient, and enduring love that cannot fail, for it is my love for you. And as in all that is part of me, it is perfect and pure. It is humble, not seeking its own glory, rather seeking the Father's heart, in the hearts of his children. Love poured out, for I am in and through those I have called to be, and yea, created to be my own. Yet many still seek their own glory. Many still lust for honor, power, recognition, and justification. My children, those carnal desires are not what I have for you. You must put them away. You must learn to prefer others above yourselves. You must come out of judgment and criticism. You must come out of condemnation, evil imaginings, speculation, and gossip. You must cast down every thought that harms another, for yes, your thoughts are heard by your king, even as your words are heard. If someone has done you harm, forgive them. If someone has lied to you, Forgive them. If someone has spoken against you and sought to tarnish your reputation in the eyes of others, forgive them. If someone has stolen from you, forgive them. Remember the words of your Savior. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. If you are mine, you will forgive. If you are mine, you will prefer others above yourself. If you are mine, you will walk humbly before your God, praying and eager to see those who have harmed or offended you give their lives to me. You will not repay them evil for evil. You will not require an eye for an eye. You will let yourself be a vessel of mercy, even as I have been a vessel of mercy for you. You will see with greater clarity as you humble yourself. You will see how those who have offended you or done you harm have been deceived by the enemy. You will see your compassion and mercy grow as you humble yourself and bow low before the one who bowed low and did not defend himself nor explain himself, did not lash out against his accusers. Take no thought for your own justification, for I am is the only justification you need and is the judge of all. Let yourself be shown approved 
as you seek the salvation of others and the growth in spirit in relationship with me. I see your trials and I walk through them with you. I have the counsel and the comfort you need, so come to me for these things. When you are tempted with selfishness or self-pity, when you are tempted with self-exaltation, bow lower still. Walk in my word. Walk in integrity. Let others see your Savior when they see you. Let others hear your King when you speak. Do not let the words of the enemy speak through you. Be even as you read in my word in Psalm 19, verses 1 through 3. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words whose voice is not heard. Let your voice, your thoughts, let your deeds pour forth speech in ways that declare the glory of the God, of God the Almighty. Do as you have seen me do. I have created and called and preferred you. Go and do the same in the lives of others, for this is the law and the prophets. Signed, Lord and King, Savior, Redeemer, the Lord God Almighty, the Mercy Seat. I received and released this message on the live stream the same night as um, I released Mercy. The Lord gave this message on the 22nd of January, 2024, and it is titled, Stay Close, Stay Close. Labor while it is yet time. Rest while you are able. Find your rest in me. Many are running to and fro, looking for satisfaction and peace, but they are not coming to me. They do not understand that true satisfaction and peace can only be found in me. Eat of the goodness of who I am and rest beside my still waters that are a river of life and peace. Abide in me. Sit with me and walk with me. Lie down to sleep in the comfort of my love for you. Lean upon my breast as you meditate on my words. Do not let worry or fear or any of the ways of the world steal our sweet communion together. There is no time for those things when you are mine. There is only time for the joy of our fellowship and the intimacy of our union. Do not let anything take you away from us, beloved. I am jealous over you and dedicated to my commitments and, commitments and promises I have made. I will not sleep and I do not slumber. I can bring you through every trial until the day of my return. So keep believing me. Keep pressing in. Keep your eyes and ears tuned to my spirit. Be careful that you are not deceived, for the deceiver watches for every opportunity to trap you in deception. Never forget that there are many voices that sound good and right, but there are also voices filled with the mixtures of falsehood. Voices that are interested only in building their own kingdom of followers and worshipers on the earth. Do not foolishly follow anyone but bring to me those you have chosen to give your time and attention to. I will lead you if you genuinely seek me for wisdom and discernment. If you have already decided without searching my heart, then you are on dangerous ground. Even Satan comes as an angel of light, so search my scriptures and come to the word for answers. If you are my sheep, you are listen you will listen for my voice if you are my disciple you will discipline yourself to follow my words my love for you is great stay close beloved 
Signed, Your Shepherd King.